Hello and welcome back to Sir Kent Said. I want to take a moment and wish everybody a happy MLK Day. Remember, it is not just a day off. It is a day on of service. Do something for others. I don't care if it's calling a friend or family member that you haven't spoken to in a while. Um, just do something for others because one of the most enduring messages that he left for us all is service to others. What are you doing for others to better their lives? And it doesn't have to be anything grand or big, but do something. But anyway, I wanted to move on to a um, new series that dropped on uh, HBO Max called The Last of Us. <laughs> The series cost roughly between uh, 10 and $15 million per episode to make. Originally, they were supposed to be uh, 10 episodes, but they pretty much combined, and you probably noticed this like I did, combined that first episode because the executives in one of their very rare moments of good thinking decided that um, if they were to keep it to 10 that first episode would be enough to bring people back. So they made it um, nine instead and combined like 10 and nine together. And that's why that first episode seems so long. Um, what can I say about uh, Pedro Pascal? The Mandalorian has been working his ass off lately. He's, he's getting like all the work in Hollywood. Pretty much, and I, I can't hate because he hasn't had a miss so far. Um, and the little girl, Bella Ramsey, if you know her from Game of Thrones, even though this episode built was built around and built up uh, Mandalorian's character, I really shouldn't call him Mandalorian, but I am. Um, and his relationship to his daughter, his brother... It, and some people may even call this first episode boring. It's not. It's character and world building. It puts you in a spot to where you give a fuck about the characters. You can see how the world has changed into the utter shit fest that it is 20 years later after this outbreak. It makes you give a fuck. So if you want an instant shootout or something like that, I, I don't know what to tell you. You... you you're the same people who complained about the build-up for WandaVision, too. So, I ain't got a lot for y'all. Um, I also truly appreciate how they approached the project as if you didn't know the video game. Because, let's be honest, I don't know the video game. The only thing I know about the video game is stuff that I've watched people playing the video game in 4K on YouTube. That's it. I haven't gained in, ooh, let's no! It's been a minute since I've played video game. So I appreciate them dumbing everything down, explaining it, and again, making me give a fuck about these characters. I appreciate that. I really do. Um, I have a feeling that by the end of this series, I have a feeling, I have a hope that by the end of this series, it will define how video game adaptations are done. I hope this works as a guidepost, a roadmap for anything else coming because let's be honest, winner. You, uh, skinny model chick from all those movies. Uh, what the hell was those movies? Give me the ones where she's running around in red leather or black leather doing flips and shit like that. Resident Evil. Yeah. Woo! Man! Mm. Man, man. Y'all didn't even take liberties. Y'all fuck some shit up. Y'all just, you know, let's put hot bitches in skimpy outfits and impossible situations. No. Mm -mm. No. 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 I hope this series shows people that not only can these properties be done well, but can be taken seriously. 
And the only thing you have to do is hire people who give a fuck. Say what? Hire people who have worked on the actual product, project, property that is being taken from and converted to live action because those people have skin in the game. Their dicks on the table. They give a fuck. Then hire actors and directors who are not looking for a fucking payday. Who are not looking. And I'm looking at you, uh, Batman, when you went in to do Love and Thunder and they asked you, oh, well, what's your favorite Marvel character? Oh, uh, some purple bloke who was chasing some stones. I'd have been like, get the fuck out of here. Yo, yo, Jamie. Yeah, uh. Valley this motherfucking get him the fuck out of my office. You are the problem with adaptations. You are looking for a payday. If you had come into my office and the only thing you knew about a Marvel villain was some purple bloke looking for some stones, I'd have hit you in the face with a stone and thrown you the fuck out of my office. What the hell? So yes, that can that and the Resident Evil movies, that can't keep going. It can't. It can't happen again. And I hope that this series um, handles that situation. Um, I'm not going to... I hope I didn't give away too many spoilers, and I need to be more careful about that. So I will, when I do another review, I will make sure that I say spoilers first. But this, even if you haven't played the video game, as I said, it's broken down well enough to where you can catch on. You can follow along and you will give a fuck about these characters. I cannot recommend this game, this game, this series enough from the first episode. And just watching the first episode, and you know who I am, I'm giving this a 9 out of 10. You need to be watching it. And if you don't have an HBO Max uh, um, membership, how much is it? I think they're 10 bucks a month. Check into it. I got it when it first started, so I think mine is like 10 bucks. You need to get it just for this series. And after saying all that, uh, please like, subscribe, and comment down below. And I'll see you on the other side.